Hi everyone. I have been trying for two days to figure out how to export a list of markers so that you can print them out, look at them, cross them off using a pen, do whatever you want. And it is apparently completely impossible to do in Final Cut Pro 10. I've looked everywhere and you can't do it. You end up needing to use XPath and manipulate XML or write a program in order to parse the XML or buy a $70 producer's best friend program in order to do it. So look at this, even Apple's official answer is absurd. This is on the Apple uh, website and there's a discussion here. So this Luis Sequeira is a guy who's, you know, uh, respected enough that he has his own profile at Apple. So his answer, if you look through here, Someone suggests to do screenshots. That's a good idea. Someone, a couple people suggest this web, this uh, producer's best friend. And then here's this guy, Louis Sequeira's suggestion. You export it, and then you have to go into a terminal window and use cat and grep in order to grep out the markers from the Excel, from the XML file. So uh, all of those are ridiculous answers. So here, for the first time, I finally figured it out. So one problem with using the XML, you can't modify the XML so it only exports markers. And one big problem with just using markers is that the markers are attached to the clip instead of to the timeline. So if you move a clip, the markers stay with it. So that might be okay, but when you try to, ex to export them, it creates a nightmare. So I'm gonna just export the this file. This is a math file that I'm, uh, a math movie that I'm working on, and I made a ton of mistakes, so I put markers wherever I made a mistake, so don't judge me about that. But let's export the XML. And then you can look at the XML. To do this, I use BB Edit, which used to be Text Wrangle, but I think you can also use Text Edit or any text editor. You can probably use Word too. Uh, but if you open it in BB Edit, you'll see that the XML file that comes up is a nightmare. This fully describes the timeline that you've been working on. And you can see in here, if we search for markers, there's two chapter markers that I made. And then we get to the real, the actual markers. So there's one here, and then there's three here, and then another one here. And what's going on here is, just like I said, each marker is associated with a clip. So that when it comes to this XML, the markers are inside the clips. So editing this file down to something easily usable is gonna be a nightmare. So here's the solution. Copy and paste, go into your index, highlight all of the markers, copy them. Open a new project and paste them. It doesn't matter what the, what the settings are. Now it does this amazing thing, it creates all of these gaps, but the, there's no information anywhere in here. And here are all of your markers now. Now, if we export this one, now if we look at this one, look at this beautiful XML file. It has almost no information and it still has these gaps which get rid of them. So now we just copy and paste from, you have to include the spine because Excel needs an enclosing tag, but uh, for this, it makes it a lot cleaner if you only do one kind of uh, marker at a time. So I'm gonna delete the chapter markers, just copy and paste the spine. So copy the spine, open a new file, paste it, save it, call it markers XML,
close that, close that, don't save it. And now, go to Excel, and now that simple little file is something that, that Excel can easily open. There it is. That's what we've been looking for for nine years. It's a list of markers. This is the marker name. This is the marker, uh, this is the marker name. These are the marker notes. If you want to rearrange them, you can do that easily. If you know Excel, if you don't want to, or you don't need to, that's all the information is still there. And that is all there is to it. So the one last thing to, to point out, maybe this won't work for some people, but for me, the reason to print out the uh, marker list is just so I can print it out, have it on a piece of paper so that I can go through it and, and keep track of it and uh, make notes or whatever using a pen and paper. The one thing that doing it this way does is it even eliminates the time markers. So everything is basically zero. And to me, that doesn't matter because I'm not going to be making the edits on my piece of paper. I'm going to be making the edits in Final Cut Pro. And if you have them here, if you have them here, then when you go through the when you go through the index, you can see which one, they're going to be in the same order. You can see which one they are and go down like that. To me, that's not a problem. Maybe it is for you, in which case this won't work. And I guess you'll have to learn how to use Unix and Cat and Grep. That's it.